So to create for a marvelous designer, we're going to be using the foliage in 3D Max first. So you go to AEC Extended, search for Society Garlic. Yeah, then you drag it into your viewport. So once you drag it into your viewport, you notice that there are some flowers there and we don't actually need those flowers. So I don't need it personally, but if you need it, you can leave it, but I just need the grass. So I'll uncheck the flower and this is all I need is in low detail now. So to convert it to high, high detail, you convert it to editable mesh. So now you can see this is only what we need in Marvelous Designer. So we are going to export as OBJ. So we select it here and then we export the selected as OBJ. So pick OBJ. I've already saved it out once but we're going to save another one for the sake of this tutorial. So here's the one I saved out before, but I'm going to save I'm going to save the next one as grass too. For the sake of this tutorial, of course. So make sure the faces and triangles. That's just all you need to change here. So you now export, click done, and then we move over to Marvelous Designer. So here in Marvelous Designer, we're going to try to create a fur on a fabric. So I, I'll get the fabric in, drag it up, yes, so now I'm going to create internal lines that I'm going to attach this for on, so first I'll create internal lines. And I'll create, I'll create this circle. So what else? I, I want to, I want to offset as internal line so that it can, it can be more. So I'll offset as internal line. Yeah. So this is where I'm going to attach my fur to, and then I'll distribute it to the rest of the fabric. So I'll go to segment top stitch. To segment segment top stitch and then we're trying to change things now so we're not going to use the to top stitch so we'll go to custom and then select the obj that we already saved out so now it's here so you have to click the lines to attach this foliage So the next thing we do, we have to increase the length, the width and the thread. So notice how, what's happening on the 3D window. As you increase the length, the width and the thread, it comes in. Now you can actually see this foliage come in. So I'm going to now ch keep changing these parameters to, till I get exactly what I want. You can also change this continuously, the length, the width to see what you actually want once is exactly what you're looking for then you can now start distributing it to fill up the spaces so i'm going to like pause now and then it's going to be a time lapse till we get to what we want so yeah
so now that we've distributed it we will now have to delete the texture it came in like it came into a grass texture so we'll delete it then change the color to whatever color we want depending on the fabric we're working on and yeah that's it you can just change it to whatever color you want and that's how you can add fur to your design in marvelous designer thanks for watching